Devane Amal College for Women. Learn, live, and lead. Hi everyone. I am Milakya, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry in Devane Amal College for Women, Virupuram. So here we discuss about the cyclic voltammetry. So this is the one type of voltammetry. Uh, nothing but the voltammetry is applying the potential to the analyte and by measuring the current. So here this is the cyclic voltammetry curve. So normally in the cyclic voltammetry, this is the just used for the electrochemical techniques. You can analyze the qualitative analysis. So in normally that cyclic voltammetry is the three electrode system. So the three electrodes are working electrode, reference electrode and counter electrode. So this is the cell system. It is called the electrochemical cell in the electrolyte. So this is electrolyte and these are the three electrodes of the working electrode, reference electrode, counter electrode. So when we apply the potential, the potential will occur in between the working electrode and the reference electrode and the, by measuring the current, the current flows through the working electrode and the counter electrode. So this reference electrode is the non-polarizable electrode. That means this is the resistance of the current. Then only the current will flow, flow through the counter electrode and the working electrode. So normally in cyclic voltammetry, this is the anode part and this is the cathode part. So anode is positive and cathode is negative. So here that uh, anode means just the loss of electrons and the cathode is the gain of electrons. So uh, in the anode part the oxidation will occur and the cathode the reduction will occur. So this is the anode and cathode part of the cyclic voltammetry cell. Then uh, we can go for the cyclic voltammetry means from this electrochemical cell we can get the cyclic voltammetry curve so here that this is the oxidation peak and here is the reduction peak so here that the oxidation and reduction peak is the redox reactions of our analyte so the oxidation and reduction is the faradaic regions we call it as the faradaic regions because this is the uh, electron transfer peak so we can call it as the faradaic regions so the these are the non faradaic region. And this is another way called that uh, double layer capacitance. So in this spot, the electron diffusion, uh, diffusion things will happen in this double layer capacitance. And uh, these two in this uh, oxidation and reduction that uh, electron transfer process will happen. So this is called the faradaic region and this is called the non-faradaic region. So from this cyclic voltammetry curve, so here this is the anodic part that is oxidation will occur and this is cathodic part though reduction will occur. So from this curve, this is the x axis and y axis. For x axis is uh, just the applying the applied potential and uh, in y axis the measuring current will happen. So in this part this is the anodic peak current. This is the oxidation this is the anodic part. So we can call as the anodic peak current and uh, here that cathodic peak current. So from this we can calculate the E of potential that means between the two peak currents we can calculate the E of potential that is E of this is the off wave potential. So from that two peak currents in between we can calculate the off wave potential. Then we can go for that scan rate. 
So using the different scan rates, uh, it's a, we are applying the different potential, we can calculate the current and the diffusion coefficient. So from the different uh, scan rates, we can calculate the diffusion coefficient, that's it. So when we give the different scan rates of the cyclic voltammetry, that means here we can give the, for example, we can give 20 millivolt per uh, uh, second means the curve will show like this. So when we increase the potential, that means uh, 20 after 20 millivolt, after that 50 millivolt, the current will increases. So when we are applying the potential, so uh, the potential will increases is directly proportional to your current. So this is um, when we are applying the potential, the current also decreases. Uh, that means that non ferric region, that means that double layer capacitance also decreases. So from this, we can calculate the diffusion coefficient. How the analyte gets diffused in that layer. So for this diffusion coefficient, we can use the one of the formula Randall Savick equation. The equation is that uh, peak current is equal to 0.446 Nf AC naught and Nf So from this the IP is the peak current. So we can calculate the peak current of this cyclic voltammetry and the diffusion coefficient of this scan rate. So the both we can calculate from this uh, the different scan rates. So this N is the number of electrons and the F is the Faraday constant and the A is the surface area of your working electrode and the C is the concentration of the analyte and uh, that mu is called the scan rate of that uh, scan rate of the cyclic voltammetry and d naught is the diffusion coefficient and r is the gas constant and t is the temperature so from that we can calculate the peak current and the diffusion coefficient of that your analyte there are three electrodes so first is the working electrode and the counter electrode so this is the off cell and the, the reference electrode separately is called the off cell so when working electrode is act as an anode and the counter electrode is act like a cathode. So when working electrode is act as a cathode, in the, on the same thing opposite counter electrode is act as a anode. That's it. So here working electrode we can use the, um, the three or four many things we can use as a working electrode. Here the, commonly we can use the mercury. Mercury, uh, carbon, platinum, gold. These are the things we can use as a working electrode, uh, like a disc, like disc electrode. And for counter electrode, normally we can use the platinum rod and uh, graphite rod. These two we can use normally for the counter electrodes. And then for reference electrode, it should be a non-polarizable electrode. That means it, uh, it is resist to the current. And these both the working electrode and counter electron should uh, capacitive mode for that. So this is the capacitive, uh, capacitive. So we can use the carbon, platinum, gold. And uh, for counter, platinum, graphite. For reference electrode, it should be non-polarizable electrode. So we can use here that uh, AG, AGCL. This is silver, silver chloride. Otherwise, we can use a calomel electrode. Theoretically, we can use that standard hydrogen electrode, uh, but uh, we can't use that in that normal to room temperature. Uh, for that, we can replace by that a silver, silver chloride electrode or that calomel electrode we can use for the reference electrode. So, these are the basic things of the cyclic voltammetry. So, here we conclude this topic. Thank you.